Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully set up the WP Quiz Pro plugin. This is the number one WordPress plugin for building powerful and beautiful quizzes that can increase engagement on any website or blog by keeping your visitors glued to the page, destroying your bounce rate and bringing you free viral social traffic. So in this video, we're going to be fully setting up the plugin. We're going to be assuming a little bit of WordPress knowledge in this tutorial. So if you're not already familiar with WordPress, then head over to mythemeshop.com slash WordPress 101. Here you're going to find um, a load of free video tutorials that will teach you the basics about WordPress. And if you scroll right down to the bottom, you're going to find WordPress 201 where you can find some advanced WordPress tutorials as well. Once you're up to speed with WordPress, then head over to the My Theme Shop member area and we can get started with the installation. So you can find this at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. You want to scroll down here to find the plugins that you have and you'll find WP Quiz Pro. Under download, select plugin files and now save the files to your computer. You can now head over to your WordPress dashboard and you want to navigate here to plugins and then add new. Go to upload plugin and then choose the zip file you've just downloaded. Select that, press open and then install now and WordPress will upload and install the plugin onto your site. Before you activate the plugin, you do need to make sure a couple of things are in line with your hosting. You need to make sure you have at least version 5.4 of PHP. Note at the time of recording, WordPress recommends 5.6 or greater. So that shouldn't be a problem for most hosts. And you also need to make sure you have Imagic installed on your server. If you don't know what this is, then head over to your hosting provider and make sure they meet these requirements as otherwise the plugin isn't going to work. Once you've checked those, then you can go back and activate the plugin. We'll see the plugins activated and you're going to find a new menu option on the left-hand side, which is WP Quiz Pro. You can click on this in order to get to the main menu for WP Quiz Pro. So here you're going to find um, any content. You see right now we don't have any quizzes, but you can also add new, which is the next tab. You have some general settings, options for email subscribers and an import and export tab. We're going to start here and you can get to that just by clicking on it. WP Quiz Pro doesn't have a single XML file for you to import, but it gives you flexible options so you can import just what you want. So you're going to be able to see the five types of quizzes available. That's personality, trivia, swiper, flip and Facebook. And you can click through to each of these in order to see the demos. Once you select the ones that you want, you can tick. Just click that and press import demo. And the plugin is going to import all of that demo content onto your site. So if you just want to import one, then you can do so. Or if you want to import them all, then you can repeat that process in order to get all of the demo content added to your site. You'll see the plugin tells you that quiz has been imported successfully once that's done. I'm just going to go ahead and import all of the demos here. So with all those imported, we're ready to get set up with some general settings for the WP Quiz Pro plugin. It's of course just worth mentioning that if you have content on your site already, perhaps from the WP Quiz free plugin, then you don't want to import this demo content as you're going to get the two mixed up. So if we head over to general settings, we can have a look at the general settings for WP Quiz Pro. First, you're going to find options for Google Analytics here. You can add in um, details which will allow the plugin to integrate with your Google Analytics tracking. So you can get your profile name and tracking ID and be able to find both of these from your Google Analytics dashboard. So log into Google Analytics and select the admin tab. Make sure you've got your account and property set. You'll find your profile name in the top left and then under tracking info, you want to select tracking code. And then you then just want to copy and paste the tracking ID into the WordPress dashboard. Even if you're using Google Analytics elsewhere on your website with the tracking code anywhere else, you do need to enter it also into the plugin settings in order to make sure the data from the plugin is being passed to Google Analytics. Next, you're going to have the option to set a mail service. You can choose between MailChimp and GetResponse in order to power the email features of the WP Quiz Pro plugin. With these features, you'll be able to collect an email address at the end of a quiz and send that directly to either of these service providers with more to be added later. So if you set this to MailChimp, you're going to need to add an API key and list ID. On MailChimp, if you go to your account, 
click on extras and then choose API key. You can create a new API key here. And then your list ID, just click list from the top menu to view your MailChimp lists. Select the list you want to get the ID for and your list ID will be at the top right column under list ID. You can just copy and paste both of those details in there. If you're using GetResponse, then you'll need an API key and campaign name. You'll find this under my account, account details, and then API and OAuth, and you can then create a new API key. The campaign name, this will just be the unique name for your campaign that you'll have set when creating it. So choose one of those and you can integrate WP Quiz Pro with your mail service. This will allow you to more effectively capture subscribers. Next, you can choose some default quiz settings. You can choose whether to randomize questions, randomize answers, allow users the option to restart the questions and include a link to WP Quiz Pro to allow users to see where the plugin came from. I'll just turn all of these off. You can also customize these on a quiz by quiz basis. If you have got promote the plugin on, then you can enter your My Theme Shop username here in order to get 70% of the value of the sales that you prefer as an affiliate earning. You can check your affiliate earnings by following this link and that's an industry leading 70% commission that you can get. You can also choose whether to show the embed code toggle and which share buttons to display. So you can add and remove these here and you can just add them in and select the ones that you want. So that's Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and VK that your users can choose from. You can enable or disable the open graph and Twitter cards meta tags in the single quiz head tag. What that means is that it will enable or disable the open graph and Twitter cards meta tags, which will give Facebook and Twitter more information about your quiz to allow them to display them better. You can choose whether to have that on or off. You want to generate a Facebook app ID so that the plugin can integrate with the Facebook sharing button and other Facebook features. You can generate one of these by going to developers.facebook.com slash apps. And here you want to create a new app. I need to give this a name, so I'll just call mine WP Quiz Pro. Choose a category. So I'll just go for entertainment here and then create app ID. Enter the capture if you're given one and then wait for Facebook to generate that ID for you. Once that's done, you can copy your app ID from up here and you see click to copy there and then paste it into your site. Once you've pasted that in, head back to Facebook and you now want to go to settings and then add platform. Go to website and here you want to enter the URL of your website. So add in mythemeshop.com here. Press enter there. Wait for that to refresh. And now under app domains, you want to go to the same and add in your website URL. So here I'll add in mythemeshop.com and then save those changes. Once that's done, that's going to allow Facebook to um, access the app on the site that you've entered. So here it's mythemeshop.com, but you'll need to add in your own site. That will set up the app ID for you. And you can now head back to the WordPress dashboard. You can choose whether you want to show ads or not, and whether you want to show ads after every X question. So you might have every third question, show ads. You can just turn this on. You can also choose whether to repeat adverts, whether to display a countdown timer, and this will uh, display in seconds per question. So say you want to limit that to 30 seconds per question, and that applies to the trivia quiz on the multiple page layout. I'll just set that to naught for now, because you, as I mentioned, you can set this on a quiz by quiz basis. You can choose whether to also scroll to the next question, and that also applies on the trivia or personality quiz on the single page layout. And you can force a certain action to see the results. So you can set this to no action, which will mean that users get their results instantly. You can ask them to capture their email in order to see their results. So they have to give you your email address, which integrates with the MailChimp and GetResponse campaigns that we set up earlier. And you can also demand a Facebook share in order to see the results. You can add new ad code in here. It's just a case of pasting that in there. You can, of course, add multiple ones of those. And you can enable or disable global player tracking. And that allows you to better track your quizzes. Save those changes once you're done and that will set up the general settings for the WP Quiz Pro plugin. We're now ready to get started looking at some of the quizzes then. Head over to all quizzes and 
Here I'm going to use the demo content I've imported earlier in the video, but if you do want to add new quizzes, you can go to add new and you'll find the same options available here. I'm just using the uh, demo content in order to speed things up a little bit. So we're gonna have a look at each of the different types of quizzes in turn. You'll see you can find this on this page under quiz type, just for quick access. So we can start first with the Facebook quiz. And if we click on this one, we're going to load that up. So here we're gonna see the general layout for creating quizzes using the WP Quiz Pro plugin. You can add your title in here. You want to add something that's going to inspire users um, and tempt them to click on your quiz. You're gonna see you have a permalink and regular WordPress publishing options. You've also got a short code, which you can use to paste this quiz into a separate WordPress post or page. And then you have the quiz settings itself. You can choose the different type of quiz. So here we're looking at Facebook quiz, but we'll look at the others later on as well. And then you have these three tabs where you can set the content, styling and the settings, which are a uh, quiz by quiz basis version of the general settings that we looked at earlier. So under the content tab, you can add in your questions. Here I've got the demo added already. And you'll see if we edit this, then we can add the question title. You can add an image, a description, a media type. So um, here that has to be an image and an image credit in order to avoid any copyright issues. Here you'll see I need to add in an image and it's just a case of going upload and then either selecting from the WordPress media library or dragging and dropping my own file. Here I'll select an image from my WordPress media library Press use this media and you see that's added in there. You can add a description. Here you need to make it clear what the question is about and how the visitors should answer it. So here we're asking them to use their Facebook login in order to find out which manga hero they are. Once that's done, you can save those changes. You'll then find the results and here you can add a new result in or you can use one that um, it's already got in the demo content as I will here. So you see, we can edit these and um, you can set the result title image and again, a description. You'll see the result title is grabbing the user's first name. And if you hover over here, you'll find the possible name substitutions. So you've got user first name, last first name, which will be their last name, friend first name, which will be their friend's first name and friend last name which will be their friend's last name. And you'll see, you can just um, use the double percentage mark in order to get those in there. So add that in and that's going to give a customized result. You again can add an image. And here I can choose one from the WordPress media library or upload my own as I'm going to do here. So I'm just gonna select this graphic from my computer and then press use this media in order to add that in. If I preview this, we can see I've got an image here with the text saying which manga hero slumbers deep inside you. We've got the reveal of, of which that manga hero is. And then we've got an overlay where we've got the profile picture of the person taking the quiz and then some text, which is gonna be their name. You see, you've got a border radius slider on the right-hand side as well. If you're not super keen on graphic design, then you can use a free tool such as canva.com which is going to allow you to create your own graphics for free. And it's very easy to do in browser. So let me just show you how quickly you can do this. Say um, we're on something similar dimensions to what we have at a YouTube channel header. You could select um, an image such as this, uh, move this to the right hand side, perhaps uh, duplicate this over to, to the left hand side. And then you could um, add in the profile picture there and the text below that. Export that, save it onto your site. And that's how easily you can create your own graphics for using with the plugin. You can then add a description, which will tell them why they've got the result that they have. Again, if you hover over here, you can see the name substitutions. So this is going to tell them, use a first name. You are brave and strong, just like this hero. Nothing can get in your way and your enemies fear you as much as they respect you. So. That's just a great example of an engaging description that's going to allow visitors um, to be excited by the result that they've got. So you can save those changes and you'll see we've got this repeated for each of those. So you can add in as many results as you want and you see that's the process there. Add, add new results in just by going to add results and just filling in those forms. Once that's done, readers can try out your content. So I'm just gonna save this and if we preview it on our site, we'll be able to see how this works in action. 
So we've got the title and the quiz title and the quiz description. See, so we've got that image we added and then users are invited to log in with Facebook to see their result. So users can press the button and it's going to prompt them to log into Facebook. They can do so and then they're going to be taken back to your site and they're going to have their profile analyzed and it's going to deliver one of the results that you've sent. You see, you've got that nice overlay of the profile picture and the name, and then that's displaying one of the images, one of the results that you've got. So it also adds in the name here and you've got the rest of that description added in as well. Users are then invited to share their results on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and VK, which will be the social buttons that you've selected. So if you have those differently, that will obviously display differently there. But there's a strong incentive to share because they've got this personalized result. And let me just show you when a user shares that, say on Facebook, they're going to get that personalized response displaying as the display image for the sharing. And so that's going to encourage all of their friends to visit it too. And it's going to get you all of that good social traffic that's totally free. If we head back to edit the quiz, then I can show you the other tabs that are available here. So we just covered the content. On the styling, you've got the option to customize the layout and colors. You need this color picker in order to choose a question font color. Just drag and drop in order to choose between any color on the color spectrum. Customize the tint, add in a custom HTML hex code or press clear in order to reset that to the default. You can also choose the background color and the result title color and it's the same process. You can choose the result title font size here and also the result title font and you can choose between all of these web safe fonts. You can select the profile and this will allow you to choose between your user profile image or friend profile image. And as you can see from this tab, the friend profile image will only work if the current quiz player or user has Facebook friends that have also authorized the app ID to read their friends list. So um, you can set that, but the user profile image is going to be a safe option that will display for all players. Under settings, you've again got a couple of per quiz options that we saw in the general settings. So whether you want to promote the plugin, show the embed code toggle and the sharing buttons. I'll just show you if we uh, preview the post again with the embed code toggle on. If you've got that on, then you can toggle embed code in order to get an embed code um, where they can add the quiz to their own site. You'll see there you have the URL of your quiz displaying and you'll see with this the best way to make sure that your quizzes match the URL structure of your site is to make sure your quizzes are saved as a draft and then use the short code, which you can copy from the top of the page into a post. From an SEO perspective, it's always much better to use the short code rather than publishing the quiz directly. So all of these options are available for all the different quiz types. And if we head back to all quizzes, I can show you the other quiz types available. So we covered Facebook quiz, and we can now have a look at the next type, which is flip quiz. If we load this up, we're gonna get one of these that I've added from the demo content. But as I mentioned, it's the same process for adding a new one here. So we'll be familiar with this. We've got the flip quiz type selected. We've got a title in here. We've got the short code available and we've got the flip quiz type selected here. You can see this flip quiz has a lot of different questions and you can edit each of these individually. Or if you're creating a new one, just add question down the bottom. So you can choose the question title, a front image to display. And again, you can choose one from your WordPress media library or upload a file in here and then a back image to display as well. You'll see we've selected an image again here from the media type, and we can also add image credit in if you'd like to do so. You can add a back image description, which will add a little bit of text next to the back image. And let me just show you how this works um, on the actual quiz. So in the quiz itself, you've got the quiz number here, and then users can click to flip and they're going to get the reveal of, in this case, how beautiful photographs are really created. If you've got any other text, that's also going to display on this other side. And you see, you can repeat that for each of these. So that's how you create the engaging flip quiz type. You'll see you can drag and drop in order to move these around if you'd like to. Obviously, if you're numbering the questions, you will have to change those as you move those around. But you can edit or delete any of those and add in as many questions as you would like to. It's just a case of adding the question title, front and back images, um, and then the image credit if necessary, and then the back image description. Save those changes once you're done. In this case, I'll just remove that. You can then publish 
and you've also got the same styling options. You can choose either the traditional or a modern flat skin, as well as the question font color again using that color picker. Whether that's full width, which is responsive, or you can set a custom width and height in pixels here. Under settings, you can choose to randomize the questions, promote the plugin, show the embed code toggle, um, show the sharing buttons and which ones to display as well as adverts. These adverts will display in accordance with the general settings that you've set up earlier. I'll just show you how this can work quickly. Say you wanted to display ads after every third question, so every nth question, just enter number three here, and you're happy to repeat ads. You could paste in your ad codes here, and if I just preview that on our site, you're gonna see you've got this lovely advert displaying after every third question here. And you can have multiple ads there. It's just a case of using a comma in order to separate them. Once you're done, you can of course just copy that short code into a post to the page, make sure it's saved as a draft here first, and then publish it as a post or a page with the short code in onto your site. Next up then, we can have a look at the swiper quiz. So again, here I'm using demo content, but you can of course add your own and to get the swiper quiz type, you just need to select that here. So the questions for this one work slightly differently. You've got the question title, you can again add in an image and then users can vote up and down. Here, because this is the demo content, we can see the results already. So we've got 16 up votes and 18 down votes. You can of course add in an image credit if you'd like to. So if I just show you how this looks like on our site, you see we can begin the quiz and users are invited to swipe right for yes and left for no and you can see how that changes. You can also use these buttons here so we can get the users to swipe left or right on each of these and those results are going to be recorded in the settings. So for each of these you can edit this and you'll be able to get a score of the up and down votes. You can of course um, drag and drop in order to move these around and add extra questions at the end if you'd like to do so. Adding an image, as with the others, is just a case of uploading files or choosing from the WordPress media library. You have got some extra styling options again, so you can choose the question font color using that color picker again. You can choose between a custom and full width size. So here we've got the custom size set to 350 with a height of 485. You can also set that to full width if you'd like to do so. The settings are the same as the others. Although for this one, you can choose to restart the questions and allow users to start the quiz again. Once you're done, you can publish your quiz and you've got that short code to embed it elsewhere on your site if you'd like to do so. The next quiz we can have a look at then is the trivia quiz. This is one of the more complex quiz types that allow you to create those really engaging quizzes that users are going to love. So here I've got uh, a sample one, which is, do you think you are a true Star Wars fan? So again, we've got the short code and this one is set the trivia quiz type. If you follow the link in the description of this video, you'll find the full setup for the free version of WP quiz. And there you're going to find more details on how to use the trivia quiz type. Here, we're just going to cover it quickly, but if you need any more detail then follow that link in the description of the video. As always, you can add the content in here, either um, edit from demo content or add a new question in at the bottom. So who is Darth Vader? You can find here, you've got questions and answers all in one place. So you've got the question title. You can choose for this one to have no media, an image, or a video or custom embed. If you're using that, you can just enter the YouTube Vimeo or custom URL here, and also add an image placeholder if you'd like to. Uploading, again, just going to load up the WordPress media library. So I'll set that back to the image there. You can add a description for your image. Um, here, I think the Darth Vader one is relatively obvious, so I won't add that in. And you've got two answers to choose from. You want to select at least one that's correct, and you can add in multiple answers and choose whether they're correct or not. So we'll see here, if we edit this one, we're going to see Luke's father. You can add an image if you'd like and mark if it's the correct answer or not. So we've got a second answer in here, a Sith from Star Wars 1, and we'll say that's incorrect. So once you're done, you can save the changes, and it's just a case of adding in all the questions you want in your trivia quiz. You'll see here we've got a nice question that, that wraps it up saying finally, so users know they're on their last question. You can then set the results, and this will be determined by how many results the user has got right or wrong. So you'll see you have one which is quite provocative, it says you suck. 
Here, users will get this title if they have um, between naught and four correct. And they'll have an extra description saying, you should better complete the Star Wars series again. If they get more than four, so between five and 10 correct, then they're gonna have the title, you're a true Star Wars fan. And you see, we've got this image added in here and also make that a little bit more exciting for them. You can add a description if you'd like to, but for this one, we don't feel it's necessary. You can add in multiple results. Um, so say you wanted between like six and seven, then you could do that there. And you can have as many of those as you like. So if we have a look at what this looks like on our site, then we're gonna see that we've got the questions in here. This is gonna take us through each of these and we've got auto scroll on um, and users are going to be automatically taken through these questions. And it's a nice way of keeping them engaged. When they get to the end, they're going to be given the results. So we can scroll through these in order to see the results. And you'll see you're told whether you're correct or wrong. At the end, you're going to get um, your results out of 10. So here I've got the you suck result because I got three out of 10. And I'm told I've got that description. You better complete the Star Wars series again. You can share my results on any of those social platforms. And because we've got play again on, I can return to get a better answer. So that's going to keep users really engaged. And the trivia quiz is one of the most powerful tools for getting that unlimited social traffic onto your site. So we can now have a look at the final quiz type. If we scroll down here, we can see that's the personality quiz. So we'll look at this one, which is whose side are you on in Marvel's Civil War? And this is actually one of the most popular BuzzFeed quizzes ever made with over a million Facebook shares. So you'll see how easily you can make this type of content and how quickly it can go viral. So again, we've got the quiz type, which is set to personality. What this is going to do is match different questions to different results. For this one, you need to create the results first so that those results can be matched to the different questions. So let me show you how that works. Here we've got um, the results saying, say, you are Team Iron Man. If we edit this, we're gonna see we've got um, the title. It's a nice provocative um, title that's gonna get users fired up here. I've got an image added in here, um, which reflects the result, and you can have a description as well. Now, when we add the questions, you can see that we've got the question title, the type, so no media, image, or video custom embed. It's the same process as before. And then we've got um, the answers added in here. And you'll see that this applies the different answers, different points, depending on which they match. And that's going to give them a totting up at the end where they can get a total score and that was how it's going to match them. So say um, we want to apply a strong association with Team Iron Man, we've got two in here. Or if you want them to remain neutral, we can apply a normal association or if you've got team cap, then um, we've got two. So you can add in zero, one, or two here in order to associate the answers of the different questions with um, the answers overall that you've got up here. You can have multiple answers for these. So um, if we've got a different answer given, we can again um, choose different associations with the different results up there. You can add in as many answers as you want. So um, if you have a, a third answer in here, um, say between freedom and security, we could add in liberty. You can again add in your own image and then choose different associations to have here. So that's how you're going to add in the answers and the questions for each of these. And that's how they associate with the results. Note that as it's mentioned, you do need to save the draft of the results before adding in questions. As I'm using demo content, I've already got that in here. So I'll save those changes and show you one more to um, show you how this works. So this one is saying agree or disagree, um, untrained or young heroes are a threat to the citizen population, etc. Again, we've got um, the option to have no media image or video and custom embed, and I've got an image added in here. We can then invite users to agree or disagree. You'll see that agreeing um, brings up a certain association with team cap that's stronger or it's weaker for the other two. Whereas if they disagree, um, then we could perhaps change that to the opposite way around. And it's through this that you're going to tailor the responses in order to match the user with a certain answer. You can drag and drop in order to move these around and of course add in multiple answers, but for agree and disagree, um, you're going to want to just leave two there. 
So if we save all these changes, there are a couple more options that we'll want to set before we can preview it on our site. Under styling, you can choose the question layout, whether it's on multiple pages or whether you show all at once. Multiple pages is a nice way of keeping users engaged, so we're going to choose that one. You can again choose between the modern flat skin or the traditional skin, and then choose the progress bar color. Again, you've got that color picker, question font color, question background color, and the animation in and out. So whether that's a fade, a fly in, swing, slide, all those options available there. Under settings, you're going to have the option to randomize the question, randomize the answers, give the users the option to restart the questions, promote the plugin, show the embed code toggle, and share buttons. Those are all as standard. And for the single page layout, you can also auto scroll to the next question. However, you also have the option to force an action to see the results. You can choose no action, which will just display the results immediately. You can capture the email of the user, so ask for their email address before proceeding, or ask for a Facebook share so that users can see their results. You do also have the option to show ads. I'm just going to capture email and we can show you how this looks like. So if I now preview, we're going to see we've got this loaded up here with that modern flat skin, got the title, progress bar, and then each question. And you'll see users can select different answers to the questions here. Um, and those answers are going to give a different association. And at the end of the quiz, they're invited to tell us who you are to see your results. So you can add in their email address. Press show your results once you've got, and then you're going to get the answer there. So we'll see that's the text we selected with that image, and then you're invited to share your results. User can choose to play again once they're done. And that email address is going to be captured onto your system using whichever MailChimp or get response you selected earlier. If we head back to edit the quiz, we're going to see if we go to email subscribers here, you can even see a list of who has subscribed. So here we've got Alex with support at mythemeshop.com has done the who side you on in Marvel Civil War quiz. You can then export that to a CSV as well as that MailChimp and get response integration. And that's going to allow you to use these email addresses on other email service providers beyond the ones integrated with the plugin. So those are all the different quiz types and that concludes our look around the WP Quiz Pro plugin. As you can see, with those five different quiz types, you've got really powerful ways of building beautiful quizzes on your site that are going to increase engagement and get you loads of social traffic because of their inbuilt virality. We've looked through how to create each of those as well as how to set up the plugin in order to drive unlimited social traffic and generate leads for your site with that MailChimp and GetResponse integration as well. If you do have any queries, then head over to community.mythemeshop.com and our support team will be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck with your quizzes and thank you very much for watching. Music